Dr. Dawn Nolt. I'm testifying on behalf of two organizations, the Oregon uh, Pediatric Society and OHSU. We are in strong support of House Bill 3063, which will eliminate non-medical exemptions from school immunization law. I want to share three short stories, which occurred just in the past two weeks. A six-month-old infant is seen in the pediatrician's office. His mother states she's been afraid to take the child anywhere. The mother, in fact, is very reluctant to bring the child into the doctor's office for fear that someone in the waiting room may be contagious with measles. And this mother asked me, in addition to vaccinating her own son, what else can be done? A seven-day-old baby, while in her doctor's office, does get exposed to measles. Because of this exposure, the family is now quarantined in their home and isolates society for the next three weeks. As how can other babies, like their seven-day-old daughter, be protected from measles? Just yesterday, a colleague called me at the hospital about a four-year-old boy with a kidney transplant. Mom knows that the elementary school he will be entering has the lowest rate of vaccinations in the state. The mother has already done the right thing by her son in having him vaccinated before his kidney transplant. The mother asks, is there anything else to protect her son? The stories that I share highlight the fact that a no low community immunity ex increases not only the risk, but the fear of infection for these families. The fear that their child may get a vaccine prevent